to be fair to Gerard, like it, it'll just give you an indication, right? Because you know, I know he's a ten, but he's all over the field. You know, he's stuck in this corner. Does a, a, a shamazel here? Does a shamazel over there? Does a shamazel back there? So it'll just give you an idea of his honesty and the work rate within him. He appears to be everywhere, and he's stuck. He's stuck in everything. Yeah. And do we see David McInerney picking him up in this game? I'll start out with you, Richie. Like, he's obviously the main man for Limerick. He's been brilliant this year. Keane Lynch went off against Watford, and straight away he took up the mantle. He was the puck-out option. He took the game to them. Like, he, he's been exceptional. So would he be the first guy you'd look to nail down if you were if you were um, Clare here? Well, probably, like, Hegarty and Galan are the two, probably, Shane, that Clare are going to, in my opinion, if they, if they can nail down those two guys, they give themselves a serious opportunity, a serious chance. Um, I'd fully expect Hayes to, to pick up Galan. Um, probably the best cornerback. Himself and Sean Finn, for me, are the two best cornerbacks in Ireland at the moment. Um, so I'd expect him to pick Galan and yeah, McInerney to pick up Hegarty and they'll, they'll be told by Lohan to go toe-to-toe toe toe with these guys wherever they go, they live in their boots and, you know, as I said if they can quieten those two guys well then Claire, Claire have a savage chance mm, Yeah, uh, Kieran, I suppose that, that term about following your man what would be the best saying you'd have heard from uh, um, a manager to me it would have been if he goes for a piss out in the next uh, field I want you to be out there holding it for him <laughs> <laughs> Come here, my saying isn't isn't a million miles away from yours now. Like shit to a blanket. <laughs> yeah. See the full show at patreon.com forward slash our game.